Hello Aquarius, how is everybody doing? We are here with a general and timeless reading. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I'm seeing you walking into a situation like there may be something that you started doing this can be like an activity, it can be like the beginning of a relationship, something like that. But I'm seeing you be like pretty shut down emotionally. Like for you to be in this space of the five of swords, it's like you're participating in something, but your heart chakra is closed. You may be scared you're going to get hurt. You may be feeling um, like suspicious of something. You may feel really protective of yourself as well. I see Five of Swords as being like the meme of Caveman Spongebob where you're like really vigilant, paying attention to what's going on so nobody like comes and attacks you, you know? Like maybe it it's because like one wouldn't feel safe. That's what the Five of Swords is about. It's like I'm a lookout for myself here within this situation because I don't trust that you got my back. But it's like something new that you're starting is what I'm seeing, so weird place to be in for you to be doing this maybe something to pay attention to like why is that your attitude going into this can maybe tell you more about whether or not this is the right thing for you to be doing energetically look at that judgment card let's be honest with ourselves here about this situation um, you may be looking into the mechanics of what's happening with you and another person how y'all are working together with one another Maybe there's also something about the past that's coming up for you, too. Trying to get out of that space. You're investing in something that you want. At least that's the hope. Like, in... My hope is that in investing in this, it's going to bring about... Culminate what I want. I'm seeing somebody come through to clarify something about that for you. Maybe having a conversation about what you want. I'm seeing there be like a hope that if I do this, this is going to be the outcome. This is what I'm hoping to get out of it. I'm seeing your past kind of like intertwined with this as well. I'm hearing something about an official. Official or maybe officially something. Some of you too have been getting messages from your guides, I'm seeing. I'm hearing celebratory. I'm I'm seeing some bats here. Yeah, somebody from your past is coming through to reach out. They want to talk to you about, like, maybe what you want within a situation. I'm seeing them come through actually pretty quickly. For some of you, like, somebody could have found out something that you were doing and they want to come through and talk to you about this. Something you're very important about needing to like analyze the conversation and like the communication that you're having with this person. This is not a stranger. This is somebody that you know. You're familiar with them. Yeah. Yeah, look, somebody's coming through. They want to talk to you. Again, this is somebody you know. It's somebody you're familiar with. It's like a new chapter for you guys. You may be talking about this new chapter that you're having. Like maybe touching base, connecting with one another. It feels like talking about what's to come, like that sort of thing. Like what's going to be happening? What does this look like? I'm seeing Leo on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I am seeing somebody come through with, like, every intention to have a full-blown conversation with you about, like, what they're hoping to start with you. 
I'm seeing this person be very, very, very into you. Like, above all, I'm seeing it be very, very clear that this person is, like, highly, highly attracted to you. Like, they're really into your energy. You're, like, a prize to this person. Now, I don't know if you want to be a prize to somebody or, like, how that's going to feel to you. But when they look at you, they see the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Like, you would be, like, a dream to this person. And so it seems like they're sort of in a rush to come talk to you. It's like they don't want to let this opportunity pass them by. I'm hearing, I don't know where this is coming from. It's interesting because like, you know this person, right? So what would make this happen seemingly like all of a sudden? I don't know what has kicked this off. It really feels like somebody like caught wind of something or got information about something and then they want to like rush through. So I don't know what exactly it was that transpired, but something became an instant catalyst for this person to rush through and be like, hey, 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 I want to talk to you. I'm seeing them like cutting in front of people and being like, move out of the way. They're like rushing through to come speak with you. I'm hearing last minute. Maybe this was, like, right before you decided on something big, you know? I will say this, too, as well. Like, for those for those of you that, like, you've been connected with this person, like, sometimes when we have certain relationships with people, even if they're not in our lives, because of the ways that we're energetically connected with them, sometimes when we go to start a new venture, they can just feel that. And so they'll come through and be like, hey, 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 what's going on here? You know, to kind of, like, check in and see what's happening. Maybe sometimes to stop something as well. I'm seeing you've been, like, working on yourself. For some of you, you've been, like, working out and stuff. Or, like, you've changed your diet around. Or you've been, like, creating art recently. You know, stuff that has you feeling, like, comfortable within your own energy. And you may have some, like, personal goals that are helping you really feel connected with yourself. I'm seeing a lot about, like, washing yourself over with self-love and, like, connecting with you. This person is coming through wanting to talk to you about how they feel. They're like, you and I, Ace of Cups, you trying to connect? I'm seeing them for sure, yeah. They're very, very clear with you about this. Like, hey, I have feelings for you. I want this opportunity with you. I'm trying to connect with you. Like, they really are coming through being like, I want the intimacy here. I'm seeing this person be very, very straightforward. Like, if you have somebody coming through, confusing you, breadcrumbing, that is not this person, okay? That's not this situation. This is somebody coming through transparent, straightforward, like, they're a very clear communicator. They're getting straight to the point. I'm seeing them be super, super direct with you. Like, there's nothing left unsaid here within the conversation about their intention and what they're trying to make happen with you, okay? Like, no room left for a question mark on the page of, like, the storyline between the two of you here. It's being reinforced again and again and again that this person is super, super attracted to you. I don't know why we need to keep saying it over and over again, but they are, like, adamant about rushing towards you here. Like everybody else get out of the way <laughs> like definitely that is sort of energy so you may be in a space where you're like trying to sort of pick through the communication of this person like this message that they left you I'm seeing you like reminiscing about how you connected with them in the past like wondering where this conversation is going to lead this person is like I want this to be a new beginning between the two of us. Like, I want this, I want this to be the beginning of our story. That's what I want with you. Like, they want you so much. You. Their wish fulfillment. That's really how they feel towards you. And they're, like, making it very, very clear. Like, that is how I see you. That is how, that is what I want with you. Again, like, no room left for a question mark. This person is 
not leaving anything up to question or interpretation. Like they're spitting it all out sh in a, the most straightforward way. I'm seeing them be in a good spot of balance. Like I'm seeing them be stable when it comes to like their responsibilities and like their job and stuff like that. Like they have things that they look after. There's like a reliability, but they're also somebody that likes to have fun as well. Like I'm seeing it be a good sense of balance in that way. And even though in some ways they may be like a bit more reserved. I'm seeing when it comes to the attraction with you, it's not like that at all. I'm seeing them be very, very deliberate, very clear with you. Like they don't want you to question it for a second. Like they just come right out with it and let you know. But also to have this King of Swords here, like they're very eloquent as well. Like they have a way with words for sure. And they know how to take what they're feeling and articulate that with you in a very concise and clear way. Like, I'm seeing somebody very, very smart here. Yeah, they want to do this thing. Look. Maybe something about the summertime for you guys. Or you could have met them in the summer. Somebody could have a summer birthday, too. We were seeing Leo on the bottom of the deck before. See, you feel like a little bit queasy for some reason about this. Like, why the hesitance, though? You don't know if they're going to be able to... There are, like, questions, maybe. Like, do we actually share the same values, though? Like, you may be wondering, like, are you really compatible with this person? Like, can they deliver? For you specifically, like, are you guys compatible with one another? This can be like going into a situation and be like, I don't feel super hopeful about this. I'm like interested in it, but this may be like a cautionary energy. Like maybe you got into, this can be something from the past that has nothing to do with this person. This can be like, oh, I've been there, done that before with somebody coming through saying that they really liked me and then look how that turned out. You know, I'm not really hopeful about this situation, you know, because you've gotten hurt before, can really feel like that. Also, you may be very uncomfortable with change as well, too. Like, the idea of incorporating this person. What's nice is that this person does not leave you guessing at all. Like, they come through and they're like, this is what it is. Like, just let you know. But yeah, maybe you still feel... Maybe you're still, like, recovering from something that you got hurt from in the past. So I am seeing you, like, feel a bit guarded. You're like, I don't want that to happen again. It, you may still be in a spot where you, like, want to take it really slowly when it comes to, like, letting your guard down emotionally with this person. I'm seeing you be like, I don't want to meet your friends yet. Stuff like that. You, like, still want to get to know them. Maybe, like, one-on-one -on -one before you go and do all of that. You, like, want to be sure of what it is that you're really connecting with, you know? Yeah, you're definitely protective over yourself. For some of you, I'm seeing you, like, there's at least one really, really challenging relationship that you'd been in in the past that could have really, like, beaten you down in a lot of ways. Like, for some of you, you got sick within the relationship with somebody in the past. Like, there were physical manifestations that came up. And so I'm seeing you be like very, very guarded. Maybe even physically you feel guarded with this person too. What it looks like is that they're aware of you being in that space. And it seems like they're willing to kind of carry the extra like load energetically while you sort of reconnect with your sense of strength we can say i'm seeing this person like wants to talk to you about everything like they don't want to leave anything out they'll have a conversation about whatever with you which is nice because there's like a sense of this person being quite open i think you're going to return the favor with them too i'm just seeing this as being like a hesitance of you 
being like, I'm interested, but I need to feel you out. So like, don't go rushing me because I will stop you every single time. I feel like it's getting too close to the boundary of what I feel comfortable with versus what I don't feel comfortable with. But I am seeing you like over here returning the favor um, to this person. So it does seem like you're going to be connecting with them, albeit slowly, which is not an issue because I'm not seeing this person. I'm seeing them very much be able to like play with you in a way, in a good way, where they're like able to match your energy in a way that feels good you're like if i play this role they will like pick it up immediately like what role to play to be able to interact with you in that space like they're adaptable and you would appreciate that like when you want to go more slowly like they show up in that same energy but i'm seeing them be like there's this air of excitement around them as well like they're excited to connect with you they want to And again, they're like very clear about it too. Aww. This is so sweet. This is going to be a connection that you'll really be able to enjoy. This is like the beginning of a really nice chapter for you. You would feel like after all that you've been through that this is kind of that moment where the universe like gives you a break and like really brings, um, I'm just seeing somebody that you feel so touched by the way that this person shows up with you. And it allows you to feel, it allows you to like entertain the idea of connecting with somebody again. So you would feel safe with this person, even if immediately you're like, wait, 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 like, hold on a little bit. I need to get to know you first. I'm seeing just like all around, like, the more you get to know this person, the more comfortable you feel with them. Like, I'm seeing just somebody that shows up. I see this as being a metaphor. I don't think this is actually what the person looks like, but I'm just seeing somebody show up like in like a nice outfit with like their hair slicked back and stuff, you know, just like somebody that's presenting in a way where it feels like very, uh, like they're showing up to honor the relationship that you have with them and like the possible connection and also be able to hold space with you in a way where they are caring about you and attentive and like will go at your pace, like that sort of thing here. Like, they're dressed appropriately for for the situation, metaphorically speaking. Like, energetically, they're dressed appropriately for the situation, okay? Like, everything's all matching is what I'm seeing. So, I'm just looking at, we start with Pluto, which is, like, embrace the change of what's going on here. This is going to be, you sort of, like, sucked into the void of something different for you that's going to be manifesting and then we end here with Saturn which is something becoming very concrete and tangible for you and also too to end with the world here that means that there's a very big completion here where we end with somebody offering you the ace of cups and being like what do you think about this like do you want to connect with me and this is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new chapter for you a very big chapter so okay my friends we are going to leave the reading here i would like to thank everybody for tuning in thank you for connecting I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.